Alright, so yesterday there was no video because I was too busy playing like Pokemon Sword and Shield because I've now got an update where you can catch the Bulbasaur and Squirtle lines. Also, you can battle like Mewtwo as well, but yeah, anyway, for now I'm at Pokemon in real life or r slash Pokemon IRL. And if I can't find enough content here, I'll probably just go to r slash Pokemon. But anyway, with the About section, uh, we've got Realistic Pokemon Art, Photoshop, and Real Life Animals, Plants, or Objects that Resemble Pokemon. Alright, so first we've got, like, this owl thing. Just wonder. Reckon this is meant to be under the animals that could resemble Pokemon. I don't know, really. Uh, we've got a repost from r slash item shop where they've put Blastoise. And, yeah, I could see it. It's like a turtle with, like, two water hoses coming out of it. So we've got a person that thinks that's Cubone. Not sure really, but considering it's got like this skin or something like that, I guess that could resemble like his helmet. And then there's like a bit of difference between there, so yeah. Next we've got a real life Torterra, which is a repost from r slash boss fight. Yeah, it's basically Torterra. Now we've got Team Rocket spotted in Winnipeg. I reckon it might actually be oh they're trying to make it look like that because they've got the R which uh, doesn't really look like anything but then they've got like this Pokeball thing and they've also kidnapped like Pikachu now we've got Venusaur versus Weedle and now we've got Jigglypuff on the bus which is a person with an unfortunate haircut for where, from where the photo was taken. Next we've got Venusaur's flower. So pretty much Venusaur is based off of a flower or something like that. That's like the real life thing. Now I've got this picture of like the Charmander line. Uh, we've got Charmander there, doesn't really look like him too much. We've got Charmeleon here, it looks more like him, it's got the one horn, and like a fatter body, this one's too skinny. And then we've got a Charizard, which, yeah, it's close enough. Next we've got the Bulbasaur line. Uh, this is pretty much the scale of how big they are. We've got Bulbasaur here, Ivysaur, and then a Venusaur. And of course, if they were doing the first two, they had to do like the Squirtle line. You've got Squirtle here, Wartortle here, and then Blastoise here. I actually really like the ears they put on it, like it makes sense. Oh yeah, there's a, like a few other Pokemon in the pictures as well. Guess you could call this a Krabby and that, like a shelter. Not sure what this one is though. So next we've got Mew and then Mewtwo. And I'm guessing these things down here are like Dittos or something like that. Next we have got a realistic Hypno. Yeah, it's close enough. 
If anything, the noise is a bit too sharp, but... Yeah, it makes sense. And now I've got Pikachus. Because Pikachu was meant to be the electric mouse Pokemon. They've turned him into some kind of mouse thing. And that's pretty much all for this one, so on to r slash Pokemon. So we've got r slash Pokemon, Pokemon, gotta catch them all. That's a nice art of Pokemon Sword and Shield. But anyway, it's about section r slash Pokemon is an unofficial Pokemon fan community. This is a place for most things Pokemon on Reddit. TV shows, video games, toys, trading cards, you name it. This one seems a bit more active than the last one. Alright, this one looks to be Pokemon of the Year results. Top 30 from each region. I literally can't fit this all in the same page. Alright, so we've got a meme here. Mimikyu wore a Pikachu disguise to be more popular than him. Ended up becoming more popular than Pikachu. Whoops. Popular like him. But he's more popular than him. The cool thing is, the upvotes, it's like a Detective Pikachu. Guessing that's like the hat. That's like the tail. Next we've got a Pokemon Trainer Problems. My biggest challenge as a 9 year old Pokemon Trainer. This one was in Generation 2, I reckon. Yeah, pretty much had to slide around until... I reckon it was you started here, then you had to... Make your way over here somehow. Alright, so this is a bit of a joke about how tough like the Mewtwo raids are. It's like starting the Mewtwo raid, everyone's fine. Ending the Mewtwo raid. Like everyone's pretty much dead. Alright, so now we've got like the original Pokemon theme. But in like 3D or something like that. Alright, so New Mythical has a grass and dark typing. First impression. I'm gonna me end this man's whole career. Like, I don't know exactly what that move is, but must be affected to grass and dark types. Apparently, this is a before and after drugs thing. And this guy's meant to be the new, like, mythic person or something like that. And I must say, they look pretty similar. It's got like the same patterns as well. Alright, so in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can add two different ones. And yeah, apparently this person thinks that this one's better. Some like that. And now we've got every single cat Pokemon. It's interesting that these guys are here, considering, like, their lines, but I guess it's close enough. This is a cool one. Um, in the name of the Galactic Sen uh, Senate of the Republic, you are under arrest, Chancellor. It's treason, then. Uh, this joke is kind of because... Like this Pokemon's name is Palpatoad. Close enough to Palpatine. And yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it. So this is Channel 450. My name's Oat. That's who you're getting. Signing out. So the two subreddits were r slash Pokemon and r slash Pokemon RIL. So if you enjoyed this one, like maybe leave it a like. And if there's any specific subreddits that you want me to look at, uh, leave a comment, or unless I'm just going to pick random ones. So, up to you, really.